attain survival. Suicide is a complex phenomena that is influenced by a person's culture, belief, values, and norms. Suicide might occur in uh, children, adolescents, and adults. Even though humans uh, see themselves as individuals exercising free will and uh, choice, their behaviors are often uh, socially patterned and uh, shaped. Suicide may result from several factors and is more common in men than in women. Approximately 90% of people who commit a suicide have, found, have been found to suffer from some psychiatric disorder okay, at that time or moment when they try to attempt to commit a suicide. 15% of individuals happen to have a mood disorders. Each person who takes his own life has uh, various reasons as to why they would want to take their lives or why they attempt to take their lives. By definition, suicide is the act of deliberately killing of oneself or with act of ending one's life. From the etymology uh, origin of uh, suicide, the word sui means self and then side means killing. So suicide is when one decides to take their own lives. Intentions of taking one's own life usually are related to depression. Okay, let us now look at classification or the levels in which suicide will happen. So these levels, we have uh, simplified them into IGTO. Okay, so IGTO is a mnemonic on the classification or the levels at which a suicide or which suicide may happen. Okay, so the S part is the, for the suicide. Okay, so the suicide uh, first level is ideation level. Then the second level is suicide gesture. The third level is a suicide threat. Then the fourth level is suicide attempt. Then the last level is less, uh, um, lethal suicide. So these are the levels or classification of uh, suicide. So when you say suicide ideation level, uh, this is the level at which a person has only thoughts regarding taking their own lives. A person has thoughts that they want to kill themselves. So uh, suicide ideation, we are looking at if the person having just an idea, okay, from the word idea, the, from the word idea, so ideation. So one has just an idea of trying to take uh, their own lives. Then we have a suicide gesture. Okay, so suicide gesture, here a person um, may take non lethal injury acts, okay, cutting themselves or burning uh, themselves, okay, these may happen unintentionally and the likes, but uh, when you look at the extent to which certain things like this happen, it would be that this person may have certain psychological problems that is making them to have some lapses in judgment. Hence, you see these or you can uh, take these and look at them more as suicidal gesture. Okay, then the suicidal threats. Suicidal threat here, a person makes a verbal statement that, or a declaration that they intend to commit suicide. So the threat, verbally here, the person may talk to the person that they are close with, or person around them, uh, that is around them most of the time that he, they would want her to commit suicide. Okay, so when it reaches this level, you should know that the problem that this person has been facing, it has affected them so much that he, they need another person to help them with their problem. They need someone to counsel them regarding their problem. So when one comes out that they want to commit suicide, this is a very uh, good uh, chance for one to uh, try and uh, help out a person that would want uh, to commit suicide. So this is more like a call out stage where you can call people now that are significant to this person and they can try to help. Then we have suicide attempts. 
Okay, this is the actual implementation of Self Injuries Act with express purpose of ending one's own life. So, suicide attempt, a person now takes, uh, uh, decides to take their own lives. Okay, then we have uh, the last uh, label, which is uh, rethal suicide. So, rethal suicide, this is when the act ends, um, ends in a death. Okay. Okay, the act ends in death. The person has managed to take their life. So we call that lethal suicide. So now, how best then do you nurse a patient with a suicide? Okay, so how you nurse a patient with a suicide, you have to put, you have to put in, into consideration the classifications or the levels of suicide that are there. We have discussed that there is suicidal ideation. So suicidal ideation will come because a person is facing certain depressing or stressful uh, situations that may lead them into crisis. So you need to note when someone is in crisis because that crisis will make them start having ideas of committing suicide. Okay, then uh, suicide gesture. This we tend to ignore them most of the time. We see a person who now starts driving carelessly and at the end sustains injury. We see a person who starts drinking alcohol more than usual, okay, and because they're having problems. So those can still be picked up as suicidal, as a suicide, as suicidal kind of a behavior. So when you are nursing a patient, you have to take into consideration these levels or these classification. Okay, then um, suicidal threat. A uh, suicidal threat, when one makes that statement, you are now supposed to give them some kind of communication therapy. You have to counsel these people, teach them assertive skills so that uh, they cannot deal with their problem. Because uh, from a uh, suicidal threat, then it is a suicidal attempt. Suicide attempt, simply this person will try to take their lives. Okay, there might be a gun, there might be anything. So you have to ensure that within their environment, you remove all things that the person may use. So when one makes a threat, you ensure that him, uh, even just buying those uh, uh, chemicals that they might use, it should not be in the house. Why? Because uh, they might use them when that idea, then they're having certain hallucinations that they have to take their lives. So they might take those things because they are easily accessible. It might be a gun and the like. So at suicidal threat level, remove all dangers from the patient's environment. Then uh, at uh, rethal suicide level, there's nothing that you can do except offer a good value to our patient. And then uh, we can uh, comfort the family, okay? And also help out the family with um, other network groups that can help them because when one commits suicide, they leave a very big gap. Okay, so now let us look at uh, types of uh, suicide. Okay, so types of suicide can be looked at with the mnemonic, of course, which is FE. So the mnemonic FE is for F, fatalistic suicide. A is representing two types of suicide, altruistic suicide anomic suicide, and E is for egoistic suicide. Okay, so uh, you want to de determine your fate or you look at fate as types of suicide. What do we mean when we say egoistic suicide? Ego, from your psychology, egoistic suicide. It is a type of suicide that may result because of poor integration of an individual with the social groups and society. For instance, this suicide is more prevalent among singles, okay, than among people who are married. Egoistic suicide. You fail to mix within society, okay? You want to live alone. So you do not have a relationship, okay? Strong relationships, of course, are built when one is married, if you have reached the appropriate age. So we're looking at egoistic suicide as the type of, of suicide that is coming because of poor integration of an individual with you, uh, the social groups and a society. Man is a social being. We need to socialize with our people because it's through socialization 
that we learn that some of our problems are actually smaller than the problems that others are facing. So it is important to socialize. Then uh, egoistic suicide here, it is marked by integration of society and occur when individual is isolated or, um, or when individual has broken, has a broken or weak ties with other members of society. Marriage, many people get some kind of protection or comfort through marriage. So if one is married, there's some comfort that comes with the marriage. There's some security that comes with the marriage. So it's a very good social interaction that is there within our community. Okay, so marriage may protect against suicide by integrating this individual into stable social relationship, while single people remain more isolated within our society. Of course, we need good marriage counselors to help uh, such people who are at risk of egoistic suicide so that they don't end up in wrong relationships that do not end up in good marriages. Of course, happy ever after exists, okay? Altruistic suicide. Okay, so the altruistic suicide is where society becomes more important than a person's life or than one's own life. Okay, so here a person sacrifices himself for the sake of the society or the community that they live, that, that they live in so that um, it can be protected. So rules or customs demand suicide under certain situations or self-inflicted death is considered and at this level it will be considered honorable. Okay, so we have... Uh, an example that I can give here is a suicide bombers. Okay, so suicide bombers who commit suicide or take suicide, okay, eliminating the person perceived as enemy within that area for the for the survival of uh, their community or society. Okay, so altruistic suicide outer, so outer person puts their body on the outer in order to uh, put their lives at the outer in order to help uh, the society the society that they belong to to continue existing okay then we have anomic suicide it results from any disruption whether advantageous or disadvantageous which causes a stress in a person's life an individual's experience okay of loneliness estrangement that may occur okay may precipitate a deterioration in one's relationship with society such as loss or uh, that is such as a uh, loss of a job or loss of a friend so this uh, loss or losses may prompt one to commit suicide or take their own lives then we have the other type of a suicide so this is as a result of feeling that one feels like they are powerless to regulate their own life. Fatalistic suicide. One takes a fatal step to eliminate their life, to eliminate themselves because they feel powerless uh, in order to regulate their own life. It results when an individual is overregulated by society. An individual is excessively regulated Okay, there are no personal freedoms and hope of uh, getting themselves uh, on their feet. Fatalistic suicide, it is more like society inflicted because of the rules and policies that are there to which a person, okay, which, which makes a person feel they have no power uh, to regulate their own lives. Okay, so with that discussed, let us look at some of the causes of uh, suicide. Suicide is never a random act. The act has both uh, a message and a purpose. In general, the purpose or reason for suicide is to escape or to end an intolerable situation, to end, okay, to escape a crisis or to escape a bitter duration. Or relationship. Some of the other causes of suicide include avoiding being a burden to others, escaping a terminal illness, 
especially if that terminal illness okay is um condition that you might feel shameful that uh, you actually have such a condition okay and also the problems that may come with the, that terminal illness the look the look at the self image okay that will be that will come because of that uh, condition so someone may decide to terminate their lives prematurely okay the other causes of a suicide is avoiding punishment or exposure of socially unacceptable behavior so these can be some of the causes of uh, suicide okay of course suicide may also come because some may look at it as a way of resolving an irre irreversible family situation so they may take their own lives okay so other causes of suicide that we can also appreciate is the issue of a depression so depression will come because of the situation that a person is in okay so many people who commit suicide it is mostly due to depression depression is a life altering process or state okay and it might be precipitated by overwhelming life stresses including loss you know issues of divorce um issues of uh, of uh, loss of employment or failing an exam so depression as a condition or mental health condition may lead uh, to suicide okay so medication and certain medical illnesses also may lead to suicide stis and specific chemical deficiency within the brain okay may increase a uh, suicidal risk okay suicidal risk is increased where there is history also of depressive illnesses so there are some certain medications or drugs okay that may increase the likelihood of one committing suicide okay so the other condition that we can look at which may precipitate or increase the predisposition to one committing suicide is schizophrenia okay this is a mental disorder that is characterized by mental deterioration from previous level of functioning and we have characteristic disturbances of multiple psychological processes okay that may include de uh, delusions auditory hallucination inappropriate affects uh, disturbance in sense of self and also the person may become withdrawn from external world many people with schizophrenia commit suicide because of their hallucination state okay this hallucination state significantly increases the risk particularly when the person is haunted by voices which may instruct him to kill himself okay so the other cause of um, suicide that we can look at is alcohol and drug abuse alcohol and drug abuse can blunt inhibition about suicide and reduce the pain that one may face as they are committing suicide alcohol and drugs may also increase the risk of suicide due to the state of uneasiness discomfort and distress that one may experience when they have abused or taken more than what is necessary okay of these drugs okay so alcoholics kill themselves usually as a response to loss divorce or separation the other cause of suicide is loss the loss of um, a close a personal relationship uh, through bereavement or separation may bring about a suicide in addition the threat of loss including also uh, including loss of status or job may also precipitate a response of uh, one trying to commit a suicide so when um, appreciating uh, the causes of suicide we are saying a loss a death or loss okay so death or loss can be employment or a loved one when we talk about diseases okay certain diseases especially terminal diseases or diagnosis may precipitate one to have ideas of about taking their own lives okay and then we have certain drugs that may increase or predispose one to committing suicide or have suicidal ideas apart from that we can talk of many conditions like depression and schizophrenia as some of the predisposition 
to someone committing suicide okay even um, having um, other uh, health or mental health disorders may uh, precipitate one um, having suicidal ideations okay so with that discussed let us now look at factors that are associated with suicide okay so the first factor that is associated with suicide is a sex generally more men than women commit suicide it is suggested that biosocial influence may account at least in part for these differences men commit more than three to four times as often as women do in the rates of one um, one taking their own lives so men are more likely to take their own lives and be successful whilst for females they are more likely to attempt suicide and fail so women are however four times as likely to attempt uh, to commit suicide so women may only end at suicide attempt or their su their suicidal attempt may end at see, just see, the act of doing it and not not uh, not the incidents ending in too fatal but for men mostly it ends in fatality okay so men most of the time are going to use firearm firearms or they will just, just, just hang themselves okay whilst women are likely to take an overdose of psychoactive substance or may take poison okay the other factor that is associated with a suicide is age suicide rates increase with age the suicide rate is higher in young people but the elderly are likely to commit suicide more than any other age group this is partly due to the occurrence of one or other factors that we have talked about that may predispose one to commit suicide. Then the other factor associated with suicide is religion. Okay, suicide among Catholics than um, among Catholics is lower than uh, the rates among Protestants and Jews due to the belief that when one takes their own life, it is against God's will okay so you find that uh, due to the teaching within catholics and most christian organizations we find that people would not want to take their lives because it's against god's will okay so this threat is also encountered among those uh, faiths which condemn a suicide okay religious faith may bring may bring in uh, some kind of sense of order and uh, stability that is why patient who is having suicidal ideation needs also spiritual counseling in your psychological care that you give to the patient the other factors that is associated with suicide is occupation okay they are the person's uh, social status the greater the suicide risk individuals who are employed in professional patients have a higher suicide rate than unskilled workers okay so Work in, gen work in general protects against this suicide because it is going to give you some financial emancipation for you to take care of the problems and also challenges that you, you may be facing each and every day. Okay, then college or university students is also one of the factors to consider in, when talking about suicide. The result of a study by Lehman of a student uh, suicide reported that suicide rates in the 20 to 25 age group okay to be at 18 percent of all deaths of young people okay students uh, face a lot of stress at school to do with uh, deferment okay long uh, school choice that does not necessarily attend to their problems and challenges that they may face academically so students may look at the only solution now to their problem is uh, taking their lives especially if you do not have um, a psychosocial counselor at an institution of course this should be a requirement for all institutions to have psychosocial counselors because when you, let's say you defer a student we need counselors to talk to these students 
to help them understand that delay is not a denial. An opportunity denied today does not mean it's an opportunity that cannot never be end. So college or university students may also face uh, these factors and we can lead it to suicide. Okay, it's, it would appear that college and university students are exposed to greater stress uh, burning their counterparts in general population. Okay, so you might think uh, nursing is an easy subject, uh, but nursing is a very difficult subject. Okay, when you're talking about a diploma program is for three years, but some people end up doing it in five years, others seven years, and even more than those years. Students are only given about three attempts, okay, that they can have. Uh, that they can apply for if at all they fail. So they pass through a lot of stress so that on first attempt they pass. Of course, if they don't pass, they will, it means they will have to write a deferred exam. And then if it reaches third attempt, then the students will be dropped out of training, meaning they have to do another course. That makes nursing very difficult. Of course, other programs other than nursing, we may have certainly uh, certain factors that may lead one to commit suicide. Okay, so such factors, please, need to be well implemented so that if they are implemented, they do not seem to disadvantage others and then others feel uh, privileged. The other factors that we have to look at and associate with a suicide is HIV and AIDS. HIV is also the causes of a suicide if we have to talk about countries in leveraged with HIV and AIDS, where we have more than one million of people that have full HIV. Some people will be in employment, but because of increased increased the sick of, they are laid off, so they are, do not have the occupation, okay, and that will lead them into financial crisis. Hence, HIV AIDS policy is very, very important for workplaces so that uh, people who are afflicted, affected by this condition are protected. Suicide rates in HIV positive people have been seen to be prevalent, and this is mainly due to also organic disorder and cognitive function that is related to the pathophysiology of the condition. Okay, some can't even just accept their status because of their perception that they have lost their dignity and also the stigma that is there within society. Hence, we have people because of being diagnosed with HIV, they start having suicidal ideation. Okay, so the why is the point of comfort here is that uh, we have advanced drugs that are helping people to live a normal life. And once one adheres to taking of this treatment, they will live their normal lives more than 30 years, which is just normal, of course. Okay, there's no one, depending on the status, who would say, because I don't have this uh, condition, then I'll live forever. No one is there to live forever, of course. So the, the being found with uh, the virus uh, does not necessarily uh, pronounce doom. And this is the information that has to go out there so that people can live their life meaningfully. Okay, we only live once. The life after that, of course, is determined by our own spiritual beliefs. Okay, so other social problems that may arise, or let us look at social problems that may arise due to suicide, okay? It is important we also consider these social problems that may arise due to suicide so that we can help our communities effectively. Here is a breadwinner because their company does not have proper HIV policy and they get sick or they go for review, they get laid off having a small salary, okay, which leads them to financial crisis. So that family, we are saying, social problems that may arise due to suicide is poverty, okay? The breadwinner is no longer getting the money that he used to get. So poverty arises when person in the family has died due to suicide, especially if he was the breadwinner, okay? So poverty comes in. We have lost the breadwinner. In each and every person, there is a potential of a breadwinner. Even you listening to me, we are saying, 
there is someone that you take care of, okay? There is, to someone, you'll be a breadwinner. So if you take your own lives, okay, you take your own life, then you are bringing poverty in the family. You are bringing, bringing poverty in society, in our community, in our country, and the world at large. Then the other social problems that may arise due to suicide is child abuse. In the event of the breadwinner committing suicide, the children are taken in by relatives who may start mistreating them. Of course, the only person that they can raise their own children very well, okay, with all the total loving care that they need, is their own biological parents. But we are not uh, overlooking the fact that there are some relatives that can look after our children in a nice manner. But you as a parent, you may sacrifice a lot to see that your children become successful. That is why we are applying, um, I'm appealing to your conscience that you do not need to take uh, uh, your own life because of certain minor problems. Problems come and go. So are uh, good things. So these problems may be there for a, for, a, for a season. So you have to manage that season of hardship very well so that um, for the sake of those people that may look up to you, you'll be able to cater for them. Okay, the other social problem that may arise due to suicide is prostitution. Because of suicide, the young children will be made to fend for themselves, hence engaging in a prostitution activity to earn a living. A breadwinner has died, left children who cannot, who are not yet in employment and they are not ready for employment. They are still at school. So now, because of the maltreatment that they may receive from these relatives who most of the time will take them up as maids, okay? They will take them up to abuse them to work uh, in their houses as maids. You find that now they go to the street and, and you find that they are now involved in streetism or they are now become street kids. And through streetism or through st being a street kids, you find that now they resort to prostitution. Of course, girls are more prone, okay, to engaging in prostitution than males. For males, then they may engage in um, other uh, activities uh, that is um, against uh, the law. So they may find themselves stealing from people and end up in prison. Okay, so the other social problem that may arise due to suicide is high school dropout. Due to the death of a breadwinner, children will be forced to drop, out, to drop out of school, okay, due to lack of sponsorship. Government needs to put in sponsorship mechanism for a lot of people that we have seen in the street so that they can have survival skills and take care of their children. You find that you have this person who is a street, uh, uh, street kid or street adult and they have children within the street how are these children going to be raised if at all there are no people to support them i really thank the Zambian government because they have brought up a free education this is an opportunity for a lot of people that cannot afford the fees to, for them to be educated of course you will need to be educated with the increased opportunities of OVU employment and school needs to be flexible in order to allow people to look for money because on an empty stomach you cannot learn okay so the other social problem that may arise due to suicide is a street kid okay we have mentioned that street kids can be a problem that may arise due to suicide since the breadwinner has died so the children are forced to fend themselves as a result they may resort to begging within the street. This is to them to sustain themselves and because of inadequate nutrition that they may receive from their own homes. Okay, so the issue of street kids comes in in suicide. To take guys. What are some of, um, let us now look at, um,
Okay, so we have looked at the uh, issue of problem to suicide. We can also look at uh, methods of uh, committing. Not that I'm encouraging you to commit suicide, but I'm telling you about these method methods so that you can effectively modify your environment. In psychiatry, we talk about Meril therapy. So Meril therapy is a modification of an environment in order to pro uh, to promote a certain type of behavior which is positive uh, within our society. So people may use lethal methods like guns, like guns. So ensure that if you do not have reason for you keeping the gun, keep it away from yourself because someone may use it to take their own lives. Others jump from high places, okay? So avoid these high places if at all you're having hallucinations of you taking your own lives. Because when you fall from there, please remind yourself that um, you have taken a fatal uh, step to take your life. Others will commit suicide by hanging, okay? There are certain lobes or naked cables within uh, uh, the house that they may use to touch, okay? so that they electrify themselves. So others, they'll hang themselves. So any point that can be used for one to hang himself should be removed for a, for, should be removed from the person who has the suicidal ideation or has, has shown suicidal gesture. I'm just thinking a bit loud to say maybe that is why when one is taken to prison, okay, they tell them to remove, they tell them to remove the belt. Okay, for the simple reason that they might use that belt to commit uh, to commit to suicide, because one may find themselves to work against uh, the law because of certain life crisis. Okay, and they might look at the solution to their problem as it taking their own lives. Others may take poisons or may inhale some poisons to take their own lives. So if you have any of these, please, you have to ensure that you remove them from an environment of a person with a suicidal ideation. Others may simply cut themselves with a knife. So all sharp objects need to be kept away from a person with a suicidal ideation or person that is contemplating to kill themselves. Okay, we cannot... Uh, discuss suicide fully without looking at the clinical picture of a person with a, with a suicide ideation or suicide So some of the signs and symptoms that we can talk about to do with suicide may be with a draw. A person, because of the problems that they are facing, they tend to withdraw themselves from certain social events. Okay, they withdraw themselves so that um, they can start reflecting on their problem. So there is social withdrawal. Then uh, the other signs of a suicidal attempt is loss of initiative. Okay, to solve our problems assertively, we need to be uh, creative. Okay, we need to be creative so that we can solve our problems effectively. So this person may lose initiative in that they, they don't see a solution to the problems or challenges that they are facing. There is also loneliness and sadness, and sometimes people may start crying. Okay, crying for no reason. Persons that start crying because of the problem that they are facing. So uh, loneliness or extreme sadness may be one of those signs of a person having or passing through suicidal labels. Then uh, depressed mood, okay? Depressed mood and all signs of depression can be a sign of someone with a suicidal attempt or passing, having suicidal ideas. Okay, so other signs and symptoms of a suicidal attempt include apathy, Okay, disturbed sleep pattern or insomnia, loss of self-esteem because of the hopelessness that may have because of depression, inability to concentrate. Of course, this is coming because of the challenges that the, the person might be facing. 
lack of energy, there's some general body weakness on apathy because uh, this person, they feel they have lost the will to live anymore. Okay, we have also talked about isolation as one of the signs and symptoms of a suicidal attempt. Okay, so now um, with uh, that discussed, uh, let us look at management of a patient uh, with uh, suicide or patient with suicide attempts. Okay, if we're talking about lethal suicide, this person has already taken their lives. So we are looking at someone who has attempted suicide. People who have attempted suicide are likely to find themselves at the hospital. Okay. So that they can be cared, uh, they can be cared for. So we look at this as a psychiatry, as a psychiatry emergency, because one may try to use a knife and start bleeding. So circulation becomes affected. Breathing also becomes affected because when you lose blood, you lose the oxygen carrying capacity. Of course, we also need to appreciate that. The epiphrenema, okay, the, it's a framework that we use mostly for care of patients in medicine. But epiphrenema elements helps us to know what we can do for the patient also in psychiatry. Because certain elements within the epiphrenema can still be used in psychiatry. But what we want a student to bring out are the specialized nursing care, okay, elements that this patient will need. So the aims, of course, will be to prevent the patient from committing or committing rate of suicide. The aim will be to prevent infection if at all patient cut himself. So there is altered skin integrity. Okay, aim will be to for the to improve patient self image because the patient may be depressed. So what are some of the specific things that we can talk about in the management of a patient with suicide attempt? Okay, so the elements in the management that we can talk about is in treating this person, if it is an overdose, we are going to give an antidote. So this is to try to remove the drug that that person has taken. We have to monitor the vitals and uh, treat the symptoms to keep the person alive. Okay, so other things that we can do for, for in management, as we have said, is giving an antidote. If at all there is a non-antidote for the drug that that person had taken. So even if the patient may be well and uh, discharged, they are often hospitalized for psychiatry assessment and treatment. Here, we just want to know some of the problems that they might be facing or emotional weaknesses that they may have which is uh, affecting them to be assertive in their problem solving so even problem solving it's one of uh, those uh, therapies that you can uh, try to help the patient with so assertive skills you can help the patient okay with assertive skills communication we can also help the patient with the uh, communication therapy so discharge will be determined by resolution over the suicide that the person might have tried to induce. How can you admit a patient with suicide attempt and yet not have counseling session to find out what might have led the person to commit suicide? You need to have more from uh, an agreement with the patient so that they will not take their lives by you knowing more about their diseases and seeing that you, um, you connect them with networks that can help them with the problem that they are facing. So the other things that we need to consider in the specific management of suicide, okay, is the risk of another attempt, okay, unless the problem is uh, resolved. Okay, so a complete suicide has a powerful emotional impact on those that are involved. So the family, friends, and caregivers may feel guilty, shame, and remorse at having failed to prevent the suicide. They may, they may as well feel angry towards that person. So when you're counseling, you counsel at individual level, you counsel at family level, you counsel at community level. So community level, it's not that the community will come, but community level, it is a through works like teaching this on a public platform. 
so people are learning more about it, suicide okay so that is more educating the community about suicide so that they will not take suicide it is done through school health uh, services it can be done okay through community education um you, you can do all these things educate a lot of people and let those also educate others it can be someone has a status of a chronic disease you educate them that they don't need to take their own lives because there is a solution to their problem okay so a suicide attempt has a similar impact though there is an opportunity uh, for those close to the patient to resolve their feelings by responding to the person uh, to the person it's important to have supportive networks okay if the, at all it has to do with the issue of employment uh, try to uh, look out for people that can help you even with simple jobs that will help you uh, to be financially stable so counseling as we have mentioned is an important element for a patient with uh, with a suicide attempt so counseling of a suicide or survivor can be done according um, according to the predisposing factor. The history will be cardinal and it will direct uh, the counseling uh, session. Okay, then uh, history, find out about the previous attempts and the reasons because most of the time when one attempts to commit suicide, there is also a possibility that in the past they have tried to take their own lives after facing some challenges. So find out about previous attempts and the reasons. History of physical or sexual abuse or neglect, or any past psychiatry hospitalization, and counsel according to the problem. Okay, individual factors you can find out how the patient is feeling. Is there a sense of hopelessness? Is there marked a persistent depression? Does the patient have impulsiveness or difficulties tolerating a frustration? All these you can try to find out. You can also find out. If the client is having sense of guilt or humiliation, or is the client feeling helpless or victim of fate, or a feeling of the need to do things perfectly. Okay, so these are some of the things that you can try to find out in trying to help someone uh, with a suicidal attempt. There are also social and environmental factors that should be taken care of in order to reduce suicide attempts within our community. So you can find out the risk factors or uh, the risk factors within that person's environment. For instance, if uh, they stay near a bar, you can advise them to relocate. And uh, these might be, let's say, alcoholics that are drinking almost all the time. If they have a firearm, it's important that they relinquish this firearm. Okay, so these are environmental factors that can be looked at. We can also link clients to social support systems such as rehabilitation facilities where they can receive further counseling and rehabilitation within our community. Okay, so there you have it uh, today. We have been looking at suicide in uh, mental health. Okay, suicide in uh, mental health. So suicide has become an important topic in our society because of changing trends. Okay, we have changing trends where people are building houses everywhere without a lot of places for recreation. Okay, where there's supposed to be recreation, you find that uh, people have now put uh, malls there for people. Let's have within these malls, recreational activities people can be involved in. Okay, let us have uh, people or motivational speakers that can help people not to see their problems and as the end to their own lives. Okay, so also uh, the political system of the country can play a big role, okay, it can play a big role in preventing suicide by having uh, employment uh, enabling environment, okay, by having a strong uh, labor affairs, um, labor affairs uh, department, okay, that you will look at it that all good government policies okay are followed people who are found let's say with hiv are not victimized against so all these uh, can help us in uh, preventing 
a premature death that comes because of a suicide. Okay, suicide has become one of the leading causes of death. Almost each and every week, month, or years, we are hearing a lot of people committing suicide. This is a community responsibility to help out each and every person within the community that they can have something that they can depend on for their own survival. Okay, it is not it is not a matter that we have to look at separately. We need to have good family ties. Okay, good family ties will help improve support within families so that um, when one has a crisis, they can have a person that they can look up to to help them with their problem. Okay, having a problem is not a sign of weakness. Okay, weakness can be seen if at all you don't seek for a solution and you take your own life. Of course, as a Christian, I believe that taking one's own life is against God's will. Please, let's fight our challenges and crises that we face within our lives and society so that we do not take our lives prematurely. We, uh, uh, we do not commit suicide because what may come out, out, of, out of that thing is that our children may become street kids, our children may be involved in prostitution, they might be maltreated, and all those things may come in. So this is something to think about. Please let us advise of suicide because suicide is preventable. From me, I'm saying thank you and keep studying.